this is Tracy, and I'd like to welcome you to another weekly tech tip. This week, we're going to be talking about how to integrate your email service with lead pages. And I've gotten this question a lot lately. I think it's because you actually have to integrate two different places on lead pages, not just one. And I use Active Campaign, so I'm going to show you how to do it. And, and the example I'll be using will be Active Campaign. But as you can see on Lead Pages, there are lots of different things that you can integrate with Lead Pages. Uh, the way I got to this menu was by clicking on this little icon and going to Integrations. And then once you get here, you can, I'm, I'm already integrated with a couple of different services. So I'll just show you how this works. If I was going to use ConvertKit, I'd click on that button. And then from here, you'd have to go into your ConvertKit account and get the API key. And that API key can usually be found pretty easily if you look in your settings or in the developer area of your email service. If you do have a problem, what you want to search for is API. You will get a key there and you'll just have to copy it and paste it. It's usually about, I don't know, 20 or 30 digits long. You copy and paste it into here, you hit connect and you'll be all connected. And you can see the ones that have check marks are the different ones that I've used with lead pages. Now in general, if you are not using a particular service, I would come here and disconnect it because the more integrations you have, the more likelihood you there is that you're going to send somebody to the wrong list or the APIs will kind of fight with each other and cause some problems. So, and that goes with plugins too. If you're not using something on your website, get rid of it, de deactivate it. Now I am using MailChimp right now for shooting some videos, so I'm gonna leave that alone. So after you have integrated in this particular area, you're going to need to do it on each individual lead form or lead box that you have set up. If you have changed email services, you have one lead pages account, and let's say you're moving from MailChimp to Active Campaign, you will have to go in and change all of your former forms, all of your opt-in boxes and your integrations on those forms to the new email service. And you have to do that one form at a time. And generally you'll only do the ones that you're still using. If you're like me, I have hundreds of lead pages set up and I probably don't use all of them. So you don't need to change them all over, but the ones that you're using, you wanna to change to your new email service. Now let's go in here. There are two different types of pages in lead pages. You can build them using the standard builder and you can build them using the drag and drop builder. This particular lead page is built using the drag and drop. And this is just a, a really simple opt-in landing page that I have set up. Now the way that I will change my integration or set up my integration on this page is to click this button and you're gonna get the little paintbrush and then this is for changing fonts, colors, and links. When you set up a drag and drop, if you're familiar with drag and drop on lead pages, you set it up, you set up a box using this link. So there it is, my lead box. You need to edit that and it will pop the box up that you're working on. Then you click on the button again and you click and the integrations will come over here. Sometimes you have to click again, but here, here is your integrations menu. So right now it's set up with Active Campaign. Let's say I wanted to set it up with MailChimp instead because I got rid of Active Campaign and I wanted to go to MailChimp instead. I would have to first delete the current integration. The new options for integrations will not show up until this option has been deleted. Now I'm not going to delete that here because I'm currently using this form and I don't want to mess it up if anybody's trying to opt in right now but you would delete and then when you at, when you do the drop down menu, you, the lists should show that you have set up on whichever email service you're using. If it's not showing up, if the form is not showing up, you're going to refresh the list and the form should show up. So that, that would be how you'd integrate at the form level. Now, if you are not using the drag and drop editor, but instead you are using the standard lead pages editor. This is a standard lead page, landing page. And in this particular one, it's a little easier. You just click on this button and then you'll see there are integration settings right here. 
And again, this is integrated with Active Campaign. But you'll see because I have at the at the um, settings level of lead pages, I also have Aweber and Mailchimp and GoToWebinar set up. I could switch this to one of those pretty easily. If you have set something up and it's not showing up in this list, go ahead and hit reload and it should show up here. If it doesn't show up, it means there's a problem probably in your email service. Maybe you don't have your email service integrated or you didn't add the API key, or maybe you haven't set up your form or your list properly. So let's say I was going to integrate with MailChimp. I'm gonna go here to MailChimp. Now it's gonna show me any forms I have set up or lists I have set up on MailChimp. And you can see this is for a very old business that I had. So there are some old forms here. And if it wasn't appearing again, you could hit reload. Now I'm gonna move this back to active campaign. And that's the correct list. So I'm just gonna X out of here because I don't wanna overwrite anything that I've already done. So that is how you, you reintegrate or you, you set up either a new integration or you integrate for the first time with lead pages. You will have to integrate every single landing page that you set up on lead pages or a lead box, if you set up a lead box, every single one needs to be integrated separately because there's no way for lead pages to know which list you want it to go to. So you have to set each one of those lists up with the lead pages separately. Thanks so much. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them in below in the comments area. I hope you found value in this week's tech tip. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or you would like to see a tech tip in the future about a specific topic, please be sure to go to Tracy at launchtechmadeeasy.com and let me know. Or pop a comment in below the video here and let me know what your question is and I'll be sure to answer it on a future episode. Bye-bye.